Hey guys, welcome back to Rewild, where we talk about environment, psychology, and other interesting things. So today's episode, I wanted to talk about this very cool organization called Radical Joy for Hard Times. Radical Joy for Hard Times is a nonprofit organization, I believe, that has this excellent model for ecotherapy that I'd like to share with you today. When I first learned about these folks, I was in my grad pro program with Naropa University, and the way that we went through this process was by finding a wounded or harmed place, a place that has been environmentally degraded, and making like art there. Now there's an artist, his name is slipping my mind, I'll add it in the edit later. He actually creates art with pieces of nature that can be dismantled through the nature afterwards. And so I think Radical Joy for Hard Times is like the trash art version of this, where what we had done in my program was go to a place that had a kind of wound that was either degraded from like coal mining or some other type of environmental changes. And then collectively we would create art in that space to help process some of the emotions that come up and also I think in a certain sense from a transpersonal perspective send better energy to this place. So for this episode I would like you to try this for yourself especially if there is anywhere in the world and especially in your local area where you are mourning degradation of an environment. In the future, I'd like to talk a little bit about ecological identity as well, and how oftentimes the places that we grow up with, the places we lost, are connected to ecological identity in the sense of the things that we are trying to grow back or conserve. So Radical Joy for Hard Times, I think, is a pretty innovative, very accessible type of ecotherapeutic process that I really recommend people try out. It's very fun. It combines art therapy and ecotherapy into one, sort of using art therapy as a way to cope with environmental destruction and climate stress. In some of my previous posts, I mentioned things about climate anxiety and experiences around mourning and loss of place, and especially homeland. So if you resonate with that, I think a lot of us can think back on places in nature or places we used to spend time in childhood that may no longer be anymore because of development or ecosystems loss. So try this out. Go to a place that you feel like needs a little bit of healing and spend some time meditating there. Spend some time creating something beautiful there to try to fill the space with something new that is no longer that wounded feeling. It's a little bit of an exercise in mental health and a little bit of an exercise in mindfulness and transpersonal meditation, being one with your environment again, opening up and deepening your ecological identity, your connection to place and your connection to living things around you. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for being here today. And I'm very appreciative for those of you who have subscribed and those of you who have been following along. We'll see you next week. Today's episode is about radical joy for hard times. My cat's shaking my camera. I'm just going to keep going. Radical joy for hard times is a... Say hi.